All right, we're on day two here of removing the 3RZ Tacoma engine. And today I think we're gonna remove a couple small items. And one we're starting with the, with the fan on the front of the engine here. It's basically held on by four 12 millimeter bolts here. What I would recommend for tools is not these. So here's two 12 millimeter wrenches socket wrenches and what I did is or what you do is, is get one here and then one here and then you gotta work them against each other and you can get three of the four undone like that so what I'd recommend is getting something longer than these um, you know, not a lot of torque on those but it was hard to loosen them up with uh, such a short wrench for the last one because I used on the second to last one, I had to tighten the one I'd already loosened. Um, so then I re the one on the one I re-tightened. I just got my hand in here. Like so. I was lucky to get it off because the one I re-tightened, it didn't tighten it back um, quite as much. So anyway, that is that and I'm going to go ahead and take these off and slide this piece off. Let me show you another tool I got here that's really cool. It's a really long 14 and 12 millimeter ratcheting wrench. The problem is you can't slide it in here. So it's, which sometimes these help you is being offset a half an inch, but in this case it did help because it wouldn't fit in there. I did this on a GX470, changing the timing belt. I had to do this. And I didn't have that tool right there I showed you, which fits on that engine to get these off. And I stripped one of these nuts out. And it was tough getting it off. Um, I did have some luck with. extinguisher ready to go. Um, I just don't like the idea of putting heat or open flame um, around an oily engine obviously but that did help get it off. I used that and I think some uh, a chisel but yeah I messed that up first thing. If you don't have the right tool just just go get tool rather than stripping something out. Okay, the last one is way under there. Oops. Loose enough where I can spin it off. note here is I think this clutch is seized. Um, somebody had a good video on this 
talking about when you get all that when you start up your engine and you get all this sound from this um, clutch being engaged where you're, you're pulling the air the fans the clutch is engaged the fan is spinning at the same speed as the motor or the motor and the difference between these pulley sizes um, to cool the engine I, I feel a lot of resistance here and I felt like I've had a big drag as far as the uh, power on the motor. So yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna order order a new one of these. It definitely doesn't, I think I get it all as one package, that definitely doesn't feel smooth. Um, so this piece came right off with it. All right. Next piece to take off here, I'm gonna take this idler pulley off. Um, it's going from the crankshaft pulley to the power steering, steering pulley and the idler pulley. I've replaced this plug in this one. It's a 14 millimeter bolt. And it came off pretty smooth. That should be a good pulley. I think I replaced it. 30,000 miles ago. Yeah. Do here is go ahead and that's a that's 14, so that's a 12. I might try just taking this whole assembly off. This other one here has got a lot of oil around it. Might go get an oil dipstick right there. Bolt. I don't think that's going to help me out much. We'll see. I just want to get a little more. Put that back in. It's going to come out eventually. Let's see if I can get on this. I'm worried that that seems like it's stripped out. some of the um, deposits, oil deposits. When you get on something like this, it really pays to make sure you're on it really good. There we go, 12 millimeter. Um, make sure you have the right size. Socket, of course. Sometimes it, when you got oil deposits or whatever, it feels like it's something much bigger. You don't want to make the mistake of going. 
going to like a 13 because um, there's no, as far as I know, there's no 13 millimeter bolts um, available. Okay. Put this thing just uh, puts tension on the ball. So I'm gonna get it loosened up. So I slide this belt off here. It's just in the way. Um, you want to make sure that this bolt in front is loose. Right here, you want that loose before you start cranking on this thing. I, I bent this and stripped it out many years ago because I, I didn't have it. I didn't have it loose. This bolt's got a lot of threads per inch. So it takes you a lot of tension for not much torque, but it takes forever to get this thing off. Yeah, there we go. Now the belt comes off. And I'm going to get back under this device here. I'll say overfilling, spilling it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these bolts back in here for now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do that for now. I'm going to have to label it later. Say that I think all this is going to come off. Depending on how much comes off, I have to label it and uh, store it until I get this shit. But that's that's that for the out of the pulley. Right, we're going to work on removing the power steering pump here. Which uh, first step I'm going to do is take off one of these hoses and. these hoses they seem to do a lot better at coming off
and leave that bucket there and let it drain. Be right back. All right, we're back. We have the power steering fluid drained and I've got the right tools. Uh, to get this line off, you're gonna need a 24 millimeter wrench. I bought this just a couple months ago because I needed it to get the power steering pump off of a Lexus um, RX 300 I own. But, let's do this here. So I got a 17 millimeter and a 24 millimeter wrench. Let's see if I can break it the other way. And you wanna watch out because you might bust your knuckles. Luckily, I have gloves on, that would have hurt worse. All right, I'm gonna get that bucket back up here because I'm gonna drain some more fluid out. fell off in there. We'll let that drain out a little bit more. Okay, so now there's a crush washer here. It looks like definitely they're not supposed to be reusable. I might actually have a spare piece because it looks like the same. It's on that RX 300. Um, the other bolt that has to come off here out of the way just a little little further down here get that 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 up oh, sorry the other bolts that have to come off are 12 millimeters and you have to get them with a smaller socket wrench there's one two of them And what I think, and the other one is under here. What I'm concerned about here is um, <laughs> whether these are going to come out. I think they will. Looks like there's about. We were going to find out though. careful when you're doing this because what can happen here if you're not careful is you'll back yourself into a hole with the socket wrench. I've done that before. I'm going to back this off and see if I'm going to have to take this pulley off. Allows 
need to uh, get it out. I'm not 100 confident that I'll be able to slide this out. Like they made it exactly um, too too small. You can't get that out. Yeah, bring that down just a little bit. All right, so I just had to uh, keep backing it out with a wrench. And I think I'm making progress. It's a little, a little tight in there. Threads or what? Not to put tension on it, so I'm not sure what's going on. Good. Okay, so I got this bolt out. I just need to pull up on this and then it slid right out. So there was something putting some tension on it there for just the weight. Now, so can I do it the same thing for this one? I don't know. I don't know why did you do one and not the other. I think I've been able to slide it back a little bit more. Yeah. Slide it up a little bit, or pivot it up, and it seems to help. Uh, pivoted it back down. That's out. And it's pretty tight fit. Um. Just tap it a little bit down here. And power steering pumps out. Alright, and I'm gonna continue on with more power steering pump removal. This is the bracket that held the power steering pump. Surely. But they're 14 millimeter four bolts. Pretty easy to get off. What I'm going to do here is see if I can take these off with uh, the Stewalt impact driver. This, I usually use this once I break something loose. Super quick. I don't generally put anything on with it, but I do use it to take stuff off. And there we go. Brackets off. All right, having a hard time getting a shot here of the alternator. So that's, that's the next thing we're gonna try to take off. And I started off, we're gonna start off here by taking this 12 millimeter bolt. Just loosen it up. That's the one that um, not makes the tension but sets it in place. 
and then we have a, a 14 over here. It's uh, a lot like the power steering pump. I'm going to switch over to the impact driver. That way, I already had those loose. Um, that, and we got a 12 millimeter on the next one. Down here, right below that. So, 12, we'll go get the 12 millimeter socket on the impact driver right here. That's the second one. And then there's a 14. I'll take this back here. Hopefully you can see this here. It's down in there. Right there, there's a 14. that off and one component I'm having problems with is this electrical piece back here seems to be another ground wire too Figure out what's holding this dude on now. Cut for a second. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just take it off in more pieces. Right under the pulley here, there's a, another 14 millimeter. Got it loosened up. Take that off. but that's okay that's a another 14 millimeter nut on the back so what I'm going to do is get that movement. I'm hoping here now I'll pull this off and get me access to the back of the alternator. I've already chipped off a piece of this. Alright, 
probably 30 minutes later i finally got this electrical connector off here um so looking at it It is literally just pushing this tab up, which should release it off of this. I might have just had so much dirt and grime down there. I mean, this was a really tight fit. I just couldn't get it to move hardly. Um, yeah, it's had a lot of trouble. What I ended up doing was taking this little screwdriver, you probably get a better one, and wedging it right under where that connector was seated. So I was pushing down here with one hand and then pulling up, or pushing the tab and pulling up with the other. Then uh, I got, got some movement then. And the next step I had to do, it still didn't want to come free. Let me grab this over here. I had to get a pair of pliers down here and there's some i don't know why there's clips on the outside but i had to wiggle it back and forth and got it out so anyway get that out you can only see it because it's dark now but that's the alternator out and last step here there, there's one hidden bolt on the bracket back there it was a uh, 14 millimeter. So I'm going to find the right tool here. I'm getting where we can't even see anymore. I right, put up the tripod too. Anyway, uh, it's hard to do that with one hand, but when that comes off, then this brass bracket's gonna come off. And I loosened it up here, which allows me to get in here with this and just uh, take that off. That's it, and that's all the alternator.